Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another training video. Dave Rodriguez here, one of the head traders inside the Alliance community. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you stay to the end. We are giving away free value. We got a free ebook for you guys. So uh, let's cover some things today. We're going to go over kind of a recap of the three types of patterns we've been covering and how some patterns can go either way depending on what the rules are. First, we're going to cover continuation patterns. We covered all these before. And we're going to cover them again just to remind you and give you a recap of what these patterns do. We're going to start with the falling wedge. We have a falling wedge is found in an upwards bullish pattern. It is found only in the upwards bullish pattern because it is a falling wedge. Okay, it, it, it creates higher lows and lower lows, or lower highs and lower lows down here. Okay, stop is going to be down here. Your entry is going to be after the breakout. Target's going to be the distance between here and here. And that's going to be the target for the breakout. Your stop loss will be below the last and final descending point. So again, this is bullish, becomes a correction, goes bearish slightly, and then takes off bullish again. Continuation pattern. Same thing here with this bullish rectangle. We're going to, we're going to go in a bullish manner. Nice rally to the upside. We're going to stop. Um, the buyers that caught the rally are going to sell. And then everybody else that missed the rally wants to catch the next rally. So we're going to go back and forth. We're going to create a consolidation inside of a box. And then we're going to break out of the top. Stop's going to go below the bottom, kind of like the falling wedge, except for this is pretty much even on the top and the bottom going side to side. This is actually falling in a bearish manner. A bullish pennant kind of looks like a falling wedge. Okay, except for this forms a triangle. Okay. Um, same rules. Bullish manner. Comes down and corrects. Except for it's really not descending on the bottom. You see how this one's descending on the bottom and descending on the top. Just the top is a lot more of a downward angle than the bottom. Okay, here we're descending at the top and we're ascending at the bottom. Okay, that's the difference between a pennant and a wedge. So keep your eye out for that. Now, price squeezes in the middle sideways, kind of like the rectangle. It moves sideways, but it actually squeezes in the middle to a point, breaks out the top, stop loss below the bottom point, a bullish pennant. This is a continuation pattern. Now we can see their exact opposites. There's a rising wedge that comes after a bullish, um, excuse me, after a bearish fall in the market. After the market's been bearish, after a nice downwards rally, we are going to see a nice rise. We'll see an ascending line here and a not so much ascending line here. And we'll see a squeeze inside the market known as a correction. Stops above the last, the last point here. Entry upon the breakout. Target is the distance between here and here. Just like above, guys. Okay, it's the exact opposite of its mirror right here. Okay. So this is a bullish rectangle, goes up. This is a bullish rectangle, goes down, follows the same rules. These are all continuation patterns. Patterns. The bearish pennant is the opposite of the bullish pennant. It comes down, consolidates right to left, or left to right, and then falls again. Now I want to cover reversal patterns. Patterns that are showing a stop, a stoppage, a halt, an exhaustion in the direction, in the trend. And then... A reversal to the other side so if it's bullish we're gonna see a reversal bearish if it's bearish we're gonna see a reversal bullish okay here's examples of reversal patterns we're gonna start with the double top double top is after a, a nice long bull run okay after a nice rally to the upside you're gonna see a, a spike down or a correction and you can see a spike up to the same level a spike back down to what's called now we got two points we're called the neckline you enter on the break of the neckline, and the target should be the distance between the top of the top of the double top to the neckline. So the distance between here and here is your entry point here, and that's the distance between your target. So it's kind of like an M. You're finishing an M formation from start to finish, and that's known as a double top. Okay, this is a reversal pattern. So this is going to be a bullish pattern that was going for a little while. Comes up, it's finally exhausted. All the legs are finished. The Elliott wave is done. Now we're going to see some correction and a reversal in the market. Head and shoulders, same thing. We're going to see a bullish pattern 
we're going to see a, a left shoulder form. We're going to see a head form, which is a higher point than the left shoulder. And we're going to see a right shoulder form, which should be around the exact same height as the left shoulder. We're going to see a neckline form once the two points meet. Once we break that neckline, stop loss is slightly above that. And the entry point will be on the breakout. The target is the distance between the top of the head and the neckline. So the distance between here and here is the entry point from here to here. That's the target. Again, it's finishing a mountain peak. We call this a mountaintop pattern. Okay, a rising wedge. Kind of the opposite of a falling wedge. Okay, a falling wedge was down here. That was the continuation pattern. A rising wedge is actually a reversal pattern. So you'll see an ascending line here, an ascending line, but not so much at an angle here. Not pointing down, but still ascending, not, not as much as this. Okay, stop loss above the last point, breakout in the entry, or entry on the breakout, and then the distance should be the distance between here and here, or here to here, rather. Okay, so we know the rules, we just got to remember which patterns reverse and which patterns continue. This pattern is a continuation pattern that you need to remember because this happens a lot. Double bottom, opposite of the double pop, opposite of the double top rather. Same rules apply. It's just a bearish uh, pattern, bearish reversal, rather than a bullish reversal. Okay, so you'll see this come down bearish. You'll see a, a bottom point peak out. You'll see it top out. You'll see it come up, reach a resistance level, come down, reach support, come back up to the resistance. If it breaks it, the neckline that is known, that's your entry, stop loss below. Target is the distance between the neckline and the top of the peak. Okay? Inverse head and shoulder, same thing as the head and shoulder, except for it's a bearish reversal pattern. The, the mountain peak is now on the bottom, but the same rules apply. And same thing goes for a falling wedge. Two descending um, lines of support and resistance, one a lot more uh, ascend, descending than the other. Same rules apply, guys. These are all reversal patterns that you guys need to memorize the rules on and how they work out. If they don't break the neckline, they are not a head and shoulder or a double top. If they don't rise and, and, and have ascending lines in both, they're not a rising wedge. And if they don't have descending lines in both, they're not a falling wedge. So keep your eyes peeled for that at all times. Now let's look at patterns, the very few patterns that can go both ways. Okay, guys, here is triangle patterns, okay? Triangle patterns are very unique. You're going to see three, really two types. You're going to see <clears throat> the regular triangle pattern, which has a flat top. Okay, the top is a flat resistance. And then you'll see an ascending line going up, an ascending trend line going up, creating this triangle pattern. Okay, but the top is flat. The top is not ascending. That would be a rising wedge or an ascending wedge. The top is flat. The bottom is ascending and price is being squeezed. This is a pattern that can go either way, okay? I usually trade this pattern to the top, but I wait for the breakout. So you're going to wait for the breakout at the top or the breakout at the bottom. Whichever way it goes is the way this pattern can go. Um, normally when I trade this pattern, I look for breakouts to the upside. If it does break out to the, out, the bottom, I usually leave it alone. That's just how I do it. But you guys, here's the rule. It could break out to the top. It could break out to the bottom. If it does break out to the top, your entry is from here to here, or your target is from here to here. If it breaks out from the bottom, your target is from here to here. Same thing. Stops above or below the point. This point and this point. Okay? Now, if the bottom is flat at a support, and then you see a descending line of resistance, a trend line, it's the same thing. Okay? It could follow the falling wedge pattern, or it could follow a continuation pattern. you got to wait for the breakout. Normally, if I see a flat bottom, I wait for the breakout to the bottom. Um, but I trade this pattern here a lot more, the, the bullish pattern. Um, this pattern here, I don't trade that much using crypto because obviously we don't go down that often um, as far as all the crypto that you can trade. So this is the rules for this. It's, it follows the same rules as the other ones, guys, except for we can see a target. We can see a bust out on either side here. We just got to wait for that breakout and then wait for that retest. Same thing here, guys. You're going to see a perfect triangle shape. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. Remember, it's the opposite of dependence and everything else because both are ascending and both are descending. Okay, this one can go up. It could go down. It's going to be a big triangle pattern going sideways, and you're going to see it bounce off these points. You see two points. You connect them. You'll see them meet on the other end, and if they squeeze together, you're going to see a breakout 
Wait for that breakout, see what happens, and move accordingly, guys. You got to remember your patterns. You have to study your patterns. You have to find them on the charts. Back test them. Go months back and find out how many of these patterns you can find on each individual chart. What you'll notice is if you look on the smaller chart, you're going to see small patterns. And if you open up to bigger charts, those small patterns are small patterns inside of a very big pattern on a larger chart. So always pay attention to the larger charts on a big scale from trading purposes. Always look at the smaller chart just to keep track of what's really going on in the moment. That's all we have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you scroll down below in the description and get that free ebook. Click that link, the bitcoinconsumerguide.com forward slash YT. Don't, not only that, not only the free ebook, guys, you're going to get a free training series, a whole training series that'll get you started, get you everything you need to know about crypto, Bitcoin, and blockchain, given to you by Cody Sperber, the man himself, the clever investor. So click that link, get your free ebook, and get that free training series, guys. A lot of free value here. See you guys in the next training video.